Hi, today we are talking about tethering a Sony camera to Adobe Lightroom. I like Lightroom. I've used it for years, and especially now with Silicon Max, it works great, and I'm just used to it. But of course, we all know, or Sony camera users know, that Lightroom does not tether directly to Sony cameras for some horrible reason. That's not important. What's important is to use Lightroom with tethering. The suggestive method is using Sony's Imaging Edge software, having those photos saved to a folder and then having Lightroom auto import from that folder. Now, if you're a Sony camera owner, you also probably realize that Sony's Imaging Edge software is complete garbage and it drives me crazy. It has a very hard time connecting on Mac computers to your camera if you have Lightroom, Photoshop running, it won't connect. If you have Zoom installed, anything that uses like webcams, it's, it's a whole slew of software. So I'm always shutting down my computer, trying to get my camera to connect when I need to use it for tethering to Lightroom. So I got really tired of this, so I bought Capture One because Capture One magically has absolutely no issues connecting to Sony cameras for tethering. No matter what, I've never had a problem. It's super easy. But I didn't like Capture One. I've spent like a year trying to use it and I've never gotten the hang of it. It's like completely relearning how to edit. I just, it's, I just don't like it. I don't, this video isn't about that. I don't wanna get into that. It's just not for me. So I went back to using Lightroom with Imaging Edge and was losing my mind. And then I realized, hey, why can't I use both? So what I've been doing is I use Capture One to tether to my camera, and then I have the tethered images sent to Lightroom. So it's basically the same thing as using Imaging Edge, but you use Capture One instead, since it has no problem connecting to your camera, despite whatever applications you're running. And it works awesome. Of course, you have to buy Capture One as well, but in my case, I already had it. So to do this, it's as simple as setting it up the same way. You just have to direct your auto import settings in Lightroom, to your capture folder in your capture one session. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, so once you are in Lightroom, all you need to do is go into your file, auto import settings. Sorry, my file menu's blocked off there by the screen record. Um, and right here under watched folder, you're just gonna change this folder, click choose and select your capture folder from your Capture One folder. And that's it, tell it where you want the files to go and add your develop settings and you're good to go. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a great day.